OCD, the first thing you hear is people with the grief, the people with germophobia, the people who are afraid of time. What I hear about when I think of OCD is a little eight-year-old girl who's afraid to stay up and watch the Fourth of July fireworks with her daddy because she was afraid to stay up past eight o'clock at night. This ruled a year of her life, and she thought she was crazy. What she didn't know is she was crazy, but crazy is not a bad thing, not anymore. Because OCD doesn't have to stand for obsessive compulsive disorder or obsessive crazy disorder. It can stand for open, creative, daring. Open. When you look at open, you see a world. You don't just see what everyone else sees. You enjoy making snowmen, even in November, when you're a college student. You go scuba diving because you want to learn how. You study marine biology in Iowa because it's your dream. When you look at creative, you say, this art project, I want to go above and beyond it. You don't just paint a picture, you paint your soul on a page. You don't just look at life as a crazy chance, but as the crazy chance do what you want to do, to be who you want to be, to love who you want to love. You look at daring. You do the things that everyone else says, no, it's wrong, it's stupid, it's dumb. You have one life to live, and if you're going to live it worried, you might as well live it in a cave. You go caving, you go diving, you study, you read, you learn different languages, you Irish step dance, you learn karate. You learn the Bible, you do what makes you feel free. OCD, mental disabilities, mental disorders, don't have to cage you into a box. You're outside the box. Crazy is outside the box. And the crazy that you find, the crazy you embrace, if you embrace it, it embraces you. You are yourself, and yourself, disability or not, it cannot control you, it cannot be you, it can only free you.